Welcome back. We're talking about Matthew Hudson Smith from Great Britain today. Now, 2022 has been almost a breakout season of sorts for Hudson Smith, despite him being on the scene for a couple years now already. But the accomplishments, the achievements, all of those accolades that he was able to amass throughout this 2022 season really confirmed the potential that he's been showing over all of these years. So let's dive into his season. First off, what was his personal best leading into 2022? Well, entering the year, his personal best was 44.48 seconds set all the way back in 2016 at the Rio Olympic Games. Remember, in those 2016 Rio Olympic Games, Wade Van Niekerk broke the world record 43.03 seconds. We saw Karani James and LaShawn Merritt also run sub 44, but that entire race was the deepest 400 meter race in history. Matthew Hudson Smith finished last place in that race, and he had the fastest last place finishing time in the history of the 400 meter dash. Now, of course, that's not an accolade that anyone really wants to have finishing last place, but that just showed the depth of that competition. And he was only 21 years old at the time. Looking at his progression over the years, again, 44.48 personal bests in 2016, 44.7, 44.6. He had some injuries over the past couple years as well, run a couple 45 per season's best, right? 2022 though, let's dive into what this season really looked like. So first off, he started things off relatively easy for the most part, 44.82 seconds down in Florida at the Tom Jones Invitational. So, you know, strong performance in terms of an opener. Look at his second performance of the year, April 23rd, down at LSU, 40. 44.61 seconds. This was a huge performance for him because it was his second fastest performance in his entire career. Remember, his personal best was 44.48 seconds. Prior to that, he had run 44.63, but this was his second fastest performance of his entire career. Now, runs at the Diamond League in Great Britain. The weather wasn't too great there, but he gets the win at the Diamond League in Birmingham. Then he comes to the United States, Prefontaine Classic, Hayward Field, May 28th. 44.35 seconds finishes right behind michael norman who of course ran 43 seconds and then karani james who ran 44 flat this was a huge performance why was this a huge performance this broke the british national record in the 400 meter dash back in 1997 ewan thomas from great britain had run 44.36 seconds Hudson Smith just surpassed that by a hundredth of a second, 44.35 seconds. This was a huge deal as we know Hudson Smith had been chasing the British record for a very, very long time. So for him to finally get it and in the season, we're just getting the season started, right? This is only his fourth competition of the year. This boded very well for what he was potentially gonna be able to do. Now, goes over to the UK Championships. Very easy win, 44.9, nothing too crazy. Next up was those World Championships in Eugene, Oregon. Preparing for that was going to be a big deal, just considering what he had been doing through his 2022 season already. Well, gets those World Championships and he shows out. 45.49 in the heats, then 44.38 seconds in the semifinals. That was his second fastest time ever, and just off the British national record he just set a couple weeks prior. Well, in the final, Hudson Smith really showed out once again. 44.66 seconds, so not his personal best or anything like that, but he gets third place. The bronze medal just behind Michael Norman and behind Karani James. A huge performance. I can't even remember the last time a British athlete had won a 400 meter medal at the World Championships or Olympic Games. So for him to get third place here was a huge accomplishment and definitely boded well for the rest of his season. Remember, he's got Commonwealth Games and he as European Championships. Well, let's fast forward just about a week or two later, Commonwealth Games. Now, there was a lot of expectations coming into the uh, Commonwealth Games because he had just gotten a bronze medal. He was one of the top guys in the world, let alone just in the Commonwealth. So he came to the Commonwealth Games, unfortunately didn't perform as well. He managed to get 44.81 seconds to finish second place. Still a very strong performance. Whenever he's running under 45 seconds, that consistency really shows up. Well, getting to European Championships, this is where he really throws a hammer down. 44.53 seconds to get the European Championship win out in Munich in Germany. He actually won the European Championships a couple years back in 2018. So this is kind of a defense of his title that he had from four years prior. Now, let's take a look at where he stood in 2022 
and also in the greater landscape of both British and European athletics. 2022, he was ranked number nine in the world this year, 44.35 seconds tied with Vernon Norwood. But remember, he got that bronze medal at the world championships, which is really, you know, that big deal, really what all that mattered. But some of the people ahead of him, he actually beat out to get that bronze medal. Wade Van Niekerk, right? He ran 44.3 seconds after the world championships. Champion Allison finished fourth place just behind Matthew Hudson Smith. Um, some of these other guys, they unfortunately didn't compete, right? Steven Gardner, Randolph Ross, Elijah Goblin didn't qualify for the individual team. Team. So Matthew Hudson Smith really cementing himself as one of the top athletes in the world and very likely going to be improving in 2023. More importantly, though, let's look at where he stood in terms of Great Britain as well as Europe as a whole. First off, like I noted, he ran 44.35 seconds to get the British national record in the 400 meter dash, breaking that record set by Ewan Thomas all the way back in 1997, surpassing guys like Roger Black, one of the greatest 400 meter runners in uh, British history, um, Mark Richardson, Martin Rooney. So this was a huge year for him. Also looking at the all time marks, of course, he runs 44.35 seconds. He also ran 44.38, his personal best from 2016, 44.48. So he has a couple all-time marks, but we're looking at guys like Ewan Thomas, Mark Richardson, Roger Black. They're, they're really the dominant performers when we're talking about Great Britain and all times. I think Hudson Smith is going to have to step things up a little bit, get him a little more consistent in those low 44s. He's very capable of doing so. But look at where he stands in terms of all of Europe. Hudson Smith moved to number two all time when we're talking about European continental athletes. His 44.35 is just behind the European record of 44.33 seconds set all the way back in 1987. We're talking about a record that is 35 years old and he is just behind that. Matthew Hudson Smith is very likely going to be able to get this record in 2023 and even beyond. He might be able to get under 44 seconds. Hudson Smith, he is only 27 years old, so he still has some years to go. Remember, like I said, he made the Olympic Games final in 2016. He was only 21 years old at that point. He's been developing so much experience to finally get his first world championship medal this year, break the British national record, two hundredths of a second off the European record. Hudson Smith is hungry for some of these times and performances, and I think 2023 is going to be a very good year for him. Now, there are a plethora of guys who he's going to have to contend with if we're talking about, you know, surpassing, getting to the gold medal, running some super fast times, right? Of course, Michael Norman, world champion. Um, of course, you have Karani James, who's always consistent. You have uh, Wade Van Niekerk. He looks like he's getting back into the fold. Steven Gardner, the Olympic and pre previous world champion. Um, everyone from Michael Cherry, champion Allison. There's a lot of guys that Hudson Smith is going to have to contend with, but I think he is in the mix and along with those top guys, they're going to be pushing down some very fast times. We might see a couple more guys dropping into that sub 44 range. And I think Hudson Smith is going to be one to do it in 2023. So let me know what you think of Matthew Hudson Smith. Let me know what you think of his 2022 season and the progression that he's made since showing so much potential in previous years. Do you think he's going to be able to get the European championship record of 44.33 seconds? Do you think he's going to be able to medal again in 2023? Or even do you think he's going to be able to run sub 44 seconds in the coming years? Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.